Ed? <sighs> Not quite. We're lunch! Or dinner. What time is it? In this slimy cave. It is... A big old stomach. What do you know? The day keeps getting better. We got problems with engines one, three, and four. Problem being, they don't work. That does not sound better. Can we still fly this thing? Not a friggin' chance. This is what I meant, Peter. Maybe if I hadn't been with the Guardians, none of you... You know, that would have been great, actually. Because then maybe this selfish butthole would make a good call for once. Me? What did I do? Are you serious? After all the times you picked Gamora over me? <laughs> rocket. Don't rocket me, Pete. If you'd come along with me, Drax, and Mantis instead of the traitorizing root vegetable over here and everyone's favorite murderer, maybe we never would have gotten nabbed in the first place. Oh, please. You kill more people in a week than I ever did for Thanos. I am Groot. I just saved your life, man. Oh, uh, Gamora helped, too. Excuse me for being traumatized. You weren't the one stuck down there in that, that worm vomit sleeping bag. Maybe if you learned how to fight instead of whining all the time. Sorry, I guess I got all the fight and spirit sucked <coughs> out of me by pagan worms. <coughs> you know what? I've got some place can... you can shove. <laughs> Drax has a point. What is it, that he's a moron? We're being children. I am Groot. She didn't mean it literally, you big idiot. Thank you, Drax. That is the second longest I have ever yelled. Last time I was unconscious for a month. We ain't got that long. If we don't find a way to repair the Milano's engines, we're gonna end up like those poor bastards. Those poor bastards. Exactly! Huh? What? Look at all those ships. There has to be some parts we can salvage out there. You forget about that internal ocean of stomach acid. Can't just take a little swim. Then get me flying again. I'll see what I can do. I mean, I sure ain't dumb enough to go out there.
rocket. Any ideas on how to move these engines? My boots won't be able to. It's an engine, Pete. Just turn it on. Oh, good. A giant red button. This always ends well. Sounds gross now that I think about it. Careful, Quill. Hey, I'm doing my best down here. Great. Now I'm inside an upset stomach. There's a rhythm to it. More toy. Ugh. I don't give you indigestion. It wasn't bad enough already. What's up, Gamora? Groot never cleaned up his disgusting mess in the bathroom, and he refuses to do it. Maybe Rocket can talk some sense into him? I'll see what I can do. Busy, Pete. What's up? Would a piece of thorium work as starship fuel? I suppose so. In a sense, all fuel is just explosion, so yeah, it'll explode. Why are you asking? Oh, no reason. Just, <laughs> just curious. Hey, Rocket. Make sure that Groot cleans out the bathroom. Uh, Groot did puke up half his guts after the bar. Should save us some weight to get that bar. Rocket, shut up. What? Sorry, distracted. <laughs> hmm. Don't mind if I do.
doesn't work out. Oof. What a way to go. Easy, big boy. Bingo. Drax, how's the unloading going? I keep tearing objects off of the bridge, but Rocket says they are essential to life support. Yeah, um, why don't you check with them next time? Uh, Peter, I wanted to warn you that I'm throwing away that orange ball you gave me as a token of your affection. The basketball? It hardly weighs a thing. Everything has to go, Peter. And also, Drax stabbed it. Oh, man! Lives depend on it. Get off my back. There's no freaking way in hell I'm getting rid of this. I'm sacrificing all my extra knives and swords. How many swords do you have? Meanwhile, Rocket won't give up one of his guns. Yeah, but check it out. Not now, not ever. I built this thing with my own two paws. Okay. That's way too awesome to trash. See? Quill understands the value of a good gun. They don't understand. Possessions are meaningless. All that matters is the trail of blood we leave after slaughtering those who have wronged us. Oh, that's some image. After our shared experience, Quill, I discarded everything. Even the things that reminded me of my beloved Kamaria and Hovat. I'm proud that you found the strength to do that, man. Well, they were not heavy things. It was easy. Well, <laughs> thanks for listening to me. At least someone does. You see that, everyone? Drax went and threw everything away. You should follow his example. Why? Shouldn't our leader set the example? You hear that, Groot? I guess Drax is our leader now. I am leader? Your room is still full of keepsakes, Peter. Since I'm the leader now, I request that you all kneel before me. No, no, just, just stop. Let me show you how it's all done, okay? I'm gonna go back to my room and sacrifice the crap out of some personal stuff. Oh man, where to start? Throwing away their belongings is certainly upsetting the others. What is it about these... things? Why do they hold so much emotional weight? Why does your loyalty to things outweigh your devotion to others? These things aren't just things. They define us. <laughs> I'm a long way from home. 
These are the last reminders I have of who I am. They're you! Of course! Hello, Peter! I will think about this more. There is much I can learn from you, it seems. One thing I learned about the Guardians is nobody ever makes sense. All right. Let's get started. A photo of me and Mom. You should keep that. It weighs little in your hand, but much in your mind. No, I'm keeping this. Besides, it doesn't weigh a thing. Yondu gave me this. Not sure how he'd feel knowing I dumped it. This Yondu has a strange way of showing affection. He has a lot of strange ways. Trash. Oh, man. This one's pretty emotional for me. My first hunt back on Rayjack. <laughs> I remember it like yesterday. Finished first place for taking down a massive... I sense a lie. Last place. This was a trophy just for participating. Screw the pity prize. All right. Let's see what we got over here. my weight set just in case you're wondering where this incredibly muscular bod comes from I wasn't take one last look at this bod cuz after today we're taking the fast train to Tubbsville <laughs> my emergency stash of Centauri spirits they help me to act like a fool no relax they help me to relax. Nah. Need to keep my wits about me. My toy ray gun from Earth. I used to bring this with me everywhere as a kid. I mean, the galaxy is a dangerous place. Well, the dream of a Guardians baseball team dies today. I've never owned anything before, but I wish I had something to throw away to help the team. Even though you said these things are who you are, and I do not want to throw you away. Here, you can start your own collection of odds and ends that you'll be forced to throw away in order to escape a giant alien worm. Thank you, Peter. This is the best... Baseball club. The best baseball glove I've ever seen. Gather round and be led by example. Huh. Looks like you kept a few things. Only the essentials. I guess this is a case where half-assed is better than no-assed. I'm actually a little surprised he came back with anything. My ego's swelling here. All right, since you're not absolutely pathetic, I'll ditch the guns. Hmm. Fine. Same with my swords. I am Groot. Man, that is... really sad. Isn't it like a cousin or something? <laughs> no, 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 no. You should keep it. Agreed. And what of this one? Bowie! How did it get in here? Probably followed us through the caves. This is why you don't befriend strange creatures. Nah, no way. Get rid of it. But he's so lonely. That little bastard ran us straight into a trap. You don't know that. He ran just as the other creatures appeared. We're keeping him. That's the end of it. Fine. What else we got to ditch? Well, I think Mantis has something to... I don't know what you mean. <clears throat> the thing I gave you to, to give away. Oh, I want to keep it now. Ugh, fine. 
keep it. Oh, no thank you. The frustration you're feeling teaches me that things aren't worth the emotional baggage. Here. Great, great. So, we all did the thing and got rid of some stuff and we're such great friends now, but there's something I'd like to point out. The tape deck. I've done the numbers and that thing has to go. Okay. It's how we listen to tunes. It's how I share myself. It's real weird and all, but even with everything we're ditching, it's still gonna be close. We want to play it safe. We gotta toss it. We'll need the beat. You'll see. Trust me, have I steered us wrong yet? Don't answer that. Just the trust thing. Do that. Better hope one of those engines is in more pristine condition than it looks, Quill. That's the spirit. See, we need hope and music. Who's ready to take off? Ready to attempt it, I suppose. Then it's go time. It's now or never. After Groot and I install the engines you found? Yep. Right after that. Exactly. Bust out of this rock lobster? Engines are online, Pete. Now we just gotta, uh, pick an exit. Uh, are you actually implying? Yes, this worm is a meat tunnel. We could either go out the mouth side or the back side. I am Groot. <laughs> Groot doesn't want to fly out of a giant worm's giant posterior. We're already facing the colon. We should head out the colon. Would you stop saying that word? It's the word for what it is. It is a colon. Well, I vote mouth. We already know the Milano uh, fits that way. I ain't got a ton of interest getting wedged in this thing. Uh, Say it, raccoon. Say colon. Wormhole. Oh, I can't believe we're wasting time arguing about this. This is what's wrong with this team. The mouth has teeth. This creature could bite us in half. Knowing the weird crap we've seen in this place, I'm sure its butt has teeth too. <sighs> I think going out the front end is best. Everything barfs. We'll just make it do that. You wish to reverse this creature's digestive tract? The path of least resistance would be... Do not say colon! You just said colon! <laughs> I'm going to fly now! It's working! And it's gonna be gross. Still beats the alternative. How do you know? Just get us out alive, please. No problemo. We'll be out of here faster than you can say. Projectile vomit. <laughs>